Give me your biggest, brightest smile. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that dazzling, amazing wonder. I have a special announcement to share with you all today. I had someone very important recently contact me with some special news for us. So I'm going to pull up the video so that you all can hear this special announcement. My name is Daryl Jones, and I'm the president of the Stanley M. Herzog Charitable Foundation. Those teachers who are nominated are teachers who have made a lasting impact on students, are innovative in the classroom, and demonstrate excellence each and every day. To be nominated for this award is truly an honor in and of itself. From the nomination and application process, we select 12 Teachers of the Year who embody excellence and innovation in Christian education. Your very own high school teacher, Jamie Reese, has been selected as a 2024 Herzog Foundation Teacher of the Year. Everybody, this is absolutely extraordinary and completely well-deserved. Mrs. Reese, we all here have experienced how amazing and excellent you are. This award is also about innovation. I asked them, I said, out of 700 applications, what was it about Mrs. Reese that caught your attention? And they said, oh, that's easy. There were two things. One, her way of teaching, getting the students out into the community, interacting with people. They said innovation is what we're looking for and that's what we see in the way Mrs. Reese guides her students. And they said, secondly, she shared with us a very short video why she entered Christian education. And they said, as soon as we watched and listened, we could tell that she's so sincere and she's so authentic and we could tell she's one of the winning people. So Mrs. Reese, we're all so proud of you. Mrs. Peterson is going to share just a little bit too and invite a few of Mrs. Reese's students up here to share what they wrote about her in the nomination. These students had a lot of lovely things to say about their teacher and I'm going to let them come up and read. They don't know that they're doing this, but come up and read what they wrote. So we're gonna start with Grant Lee. Mrs. Reese shows genuine passion to lead her students to God every single day. One incident in particular responds with me and most. I was to share my testimony for devotion, but my anxiety was getting the best of me. Miss Reese was kind and patient. She helped me to believe my, in myself with her encouraging words and prayer. I'm so grateful to have her in my life. Because of her leadership, I am closer to God than I have ever been. Not only has Miss Reese guided me spiritually, but she's helped me academi academically as well. She meets us where we are and she encourages us to become the best versions of ourselves. Miss Reese loves every student that walks into her classroom with her whole heart. No matter what you are going through, she will always bring it back to Jesus. She is there to comfort you, relate to you, and yet also bring you out of the pit and dark spot. Mrs. Reese is very intentional in everything she does. She always points everything back to her faith in God. Miss Reese teaches us all to seek the Lord, to love learning and, to, and serving, and to live with great intentionality. <laughs> Look, everybody, even the Ducks came up to celebrate with us. Also, when they announced the date for the trip to uh, Washington, D.C., to the Bible Museum, I was so excited. They said, Mrs. Reese, that we get to go to D.C. on September 21st. <laughs> that happened to be the date that was chosen by one John Grammer and one Andy Panice to become married. That was their wedding day. So when the people shared with Mrs. Grammer and me, September 21st trip to the Bible Museum for the award-winning teacher and her spouse, then we both said, I said, that's great. And Mrs. Grammer said, uh, actually that might not work. But good news uh, regarding that date is that um, another date has been arranged. So it's all moving <laughs> forward. Mrs. Reese, do you have anything you would like to share? I'd like to thank my mom. <laughs> of course you would. She's right there. <laughs> oh, y'all, I don't even know what to say. Oh, I have no words. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here. Um, I never dreamed I would be doing what I'm doing, but it truly is my passion. It's my love. And even on the hard days, I go home and I do it, like wake up and do it again because I love those kids. So, yep. <laughs> Bye, let's bow our heads in prayer.